Welcome back to Muscle Magazine. When you think of Hawaii, what comes to mind? Warm sunshine, sandy beaches, beautiful bodies. Well, we couldn't resist covering the Big Island Classic held on the Big Island of Hawaii. Pure paradise. The Big Island of Hawaii and the lavish Kona Surf Resort played host to what promises to become one of the best Polynesian competitions. And as if the warm sun and blue waters weren't tempting enough, promoters Jack and Sue Lovell presented a masterful event featuring some of the best island physiques. It started with the Wahimis, that's women for all you Howleys, and Marlena Lee, who took third place in the lightweight class. The 31-year-old fitness instructor says she's strong for her 5'4", 106-pound frame, and that she should be bigger with all that strength. Marlena's training philosophy is simple. Train hard, eat great, and stay focused on building the best physique possible. Finishing second was a relocated Californian now residing in Kailua, Kona. 25-year-old Deborah Lee Canijo is a former swimmer and runner who took to bodybuilding at the coaxings of her brother. Deborah is a competitive canoe paddler, which played a major part in her arm and back development. But she's given paddling a rest to bodybuild more intensely. And recently, Deborah captured the lightweight class at the Hawaiian Classic Competition. The 5'2", 103-pounder is married, has a two-year-old baby, and feels that weight training helped her to get back in shape after giving birth. It changed my body a little bit, um, having the baby. I'm not as big as I was before I started, before I had her, but um, it does help. I just did all through my pregnancy. It didn't help during the, the labor, but <laughs> afterwards it helped. Winning the class and overall titles was 44-year-old Mary Ann Starr in her first contest. This mother of two started aerobics classes five years ago, then began tinkering with weight machines out of curiosity. This led to free weight, and when Mary Ann saw the changes in her physique, she was hooked. Weighing 112 pounds at 5 foot 5 inches, she was easily the most toned woman, but sacrificed some muscle to get there. Next, we move to the middleweights and 33-year-old Katerina Roberts, a massage therapist who trained for only six months before entering this, her first competition. Katerina trains on a five-day split, including aerobics, and follows what she calls her fish, fruit, and veggie diet. She feels that her abs and biceps are strong points, but that she needs to work on her glutes. Katerina finished in second. Running away in the middleweights with easily the most appealing physique of the contest was 23-year-old Monica Switzer from the host training facility, the Big Island Gym. The fitness instructor and model carries 123 pounds on her shapely 5-foot, 8-inch frame, and she's trying to put on a bit more size. Monica started lifting three years ago to increase her strength for a bike trip into China with her husband, John. She stuck with the training and went on to compete in and win the 89 Hawaiian Classic, as well as the 1990 state physical fitness title. Well, I think um, the fitness shows that I like to enter, um, the girls are a little more muscular. And in order to be that muscular, you know, bodybuilding plays a big role in that. And um, so you're able to be both of them, which is lots of fun. Now to the most competitive field of the evening, the heavyweights, with fifth place going to 21-year-old Dawn Anderson in only her second competition. The 5'9", 131-pounder is a former collegiate basketball player who took to the gym to keep in shape off the court. Dawn was immediately bitten by the bodybuilding bug and is now concentrating on hard training and a John Perillo formulated diet to add to her athletic shape. Finishing fourth was the 85 and 87 Miss Valley Isle winner, Lisa Ann Stone. The former championship runner began bodybuilding to gain upper body strength and even out her strong-legged physique. Lisa pays close attention to her mental discipline and strength, to which she credits her training and dieting philosophy. The 34-year-old lives on the neighboring island of Maui and trains at the powerhouse gym. Another first-time competitor, Claire Camburn, took home third place. The 38-year-old is studying biology at the University of Hawaii and is another one of those Hawaiian canoe paddlers. Claire has toughed it out through two back surgeries, so bodybuilding was a natural step for her toward rehabilitation. The 5'5", 128-pounder prides herself on training smart, not heavy, and follows a high-protein, moderate-carb, and low-fat diet for competition. Second in the heavies went to 135-pound Laverne Evans, a local elementary school teacher who teaches, what else, physical education. Laverne captures third place at this year's Hawaiian Classic and needs only to hit her diet better to move up into the winner's circle. She sports well-shaped legs and approaches the whole bodybuilding lifestyle as a refreshing, fun, and healthy sport.
Winning the class was 36-year-old Celeste Rogers from the island of Oahu. Celeste tells a courageous success story. She began bodybuilding to regain her health after years of drug dependency. 13 years later, she wins the Hawaiian Armed Forces Championships, the overall at the Hawaiian Classic, then the heavyweight class here. At 5'7 and 137 pounds, Celeste also overcame a spinal weakness with strict form, weight training, and unbridled dedication. And when she's not in the gym or on the posing platform, look for Celeste putting around in her Harley Davidson sidecar. But that wasn't all for the women, because the promoters lined up two special guest posers for the evening. First up was a new teen sensation, Elfie Newman, a converted powerlifter who holds eight world records. Elfie obviously incorporates her ballet talents into her posing presentation and is already considered a consensus favorite for next year's teen national title. Also intriguing the audience with her graceful moves was Mario Celine, who is currently ranked as one of the top six bodybuilders in the world. A Finland native, Mario recently moved to the island of Maui with her husband of 10 years, Hanu. Unfortunately, Mario will not be competing in this year's Ms. Olympia after a record eight appearances in bodybuilding's most prestigious women's event. But you can count on seeing this fiery competitor at next year's Olympia in Los Angeles. Well, that does it for a hot women's competition, but stay with us as we return to beautiful Hawaii to see the men flex it out at the 1990 Big Island Bodybuilding Classic. Even in Hawaii, whenever you find hot bodies, the men aren't far behind. John Kovic brings us the action. There are a lot worse places to hold a bodybuilding competition than in Hawaii, so naturally we jumped at the opportunity to return to the Big Island Classic. You've already seen the women's division, so now it's time for the beef. The lightweight strutted on stage first with James Nathan, who took third in the class. The 5'7", 154-pound computer analyst is in the Air Force and has competed numerous times in armed forces competitions. James' start in bodybuilding came after his appendix was removed six years ago. He says that his only true strategy for competing is to stay natural because that's what the sport is all about, health. Finishing second was 28-year-old Bryce Lewis, a 5'6", 163-pound personal trainer from the island of Kauai. Bryce has a packed full look to his frame, but he seemed to slightly miss his peak, coming in with subcutaneous water. He has the shape to continue on in the sport and the drive and ambition to make it big. And to think Bryce got into bodybuilding just to improve his lifestyle. Winning the lightweight class was a 40-year-old health student who started training at the age of 30. Brian Rowe stands 5'9 and weighs 165 pounds. But after 10 years of intensive training, his youthful look is deceiving. Brian possesses amazing muscle density and maturity, which he aptly credits to his strict yet fast training technique. He claims that the bodybuilding lifestyle, especially here in Paradise, is really taking off. I think the lifestyle is great because there, there's a lot of them involved, a lot of men and women, teens coming up. And the local boys have good lines, good structures, good genetics too. And that's, uh, that's good to see. In the middleweight, second place went to local favorite Bobby McCumber, a 24-year-old carpenter, in his first outing on stage. The 6-foot, 187-pounder wasn't as hard as he could have been, but presented a well-shaped frame with balanced lines. Bobby says he's always loved lifting weights, but he's been serious about his training for the past three years. He actually decided to compete after winning a Mr. Hunk contest at a local nightclub. Winning the middles was 5'9", 180-pound Jim Tarleton, a gold gym manager from Honolulu. Jim won the heavyweight class at this year's Hawaiian Classic and took second at the Hawaiian Island State Championship. The 36-year-old has been training the duration of 21 years, including a competitive stint from 1976 to 1980. But Jim feels that his experience and training knowledge make him a better bodybuilder today. The training is just, uh, I think it's a lot better now because I'm more disciplined and I listen to my body more. When I was younger, I used to just go for it. Even if I was tired, then I end up getting sick or something like that. But now I listen to my body. and If I feel a little tired, I don't push myself. The heavyweight class featured another member of our armed forces, 29-year-old Calvin O'Reilly. This 5'10", 205-pounder considers bodybuilding as just a hobby. But after only 18 months of serious training, Kelvin has already competed three times. He accredits his quick gains to positive and negative failure training and an almost perfect competition diet. 
Taking the heavyweight win was 29-year-old Stuart Lawyer from Honolulu. The 5'11", 190-pound gym manager won a number of competitions in Germany where he served in the U.S. Army before transferring here to Hawaii. Stewart's local titles include the Mr. Oahu, Mr. Waikiki, and the heavyweight class at the Hawaiian Classic. His ambition is to compete nationally as a purely natural competitor. But first, Stewart plans on adding more size using the training principles of his idol, pro bodybuilder Vince Taylor. When it came to the overall title, it was local boy Brian Rowe, the lightweight winner, taking it to the big boys and capturing the first annual Big Island Classic crowd. It's evidence that the local Hawaiian boys do a lot more than just surf every day. For Muscle Magazine, I'm John Kobus.